So I've arrived at the beach where I'm going to take the photograph. It doesn't really have a name. I just kind of randomly park on the side of the road, and then I'll kind of hike down to the beach and try and find a composition. But let's go. That's what is great about up here like in uh, northern Queensland because it's not very populated. So you can just drive along the road and a lot of the beaches are public too. And you can just find a nice beach with absolutely nobody. You've got beautiful mountains in the background, just nice clear water. Just have to watch out for the crocodiles and the fox jellyfish if you decide to go swimming. I was actually at this spot about a week ago, but I came here with the intention to photograph the mountains way over there. Which though the mountains are beautiful, it's just I kept walking around the beach, walking around the beach, walking around the beach, and I just couldn't find a good foreground image or a, a good foreground element to match with the mountains. And for sunset it was pretty com complicated because the mountains became in shadow. But it, uh, as I was hiking back I found this spot here. And just when the sun was setting, the light was kind of glowing off the ocean. And there was no light on the scene, but it didn't really matter because the sky was just illuminated in beautiful pink and purple hues. But I didn't really have time to find a good composition and set up my camera because it was already past sunset. So today I'm a little bit earlier. It's about a half hour before uh, sunset. So I'm going to try and find a nice simple composition, set up, and then just wait. But it's a little bit different because last time I was here the tide was up a lot more so I had water that I could put with some of these rocks here in the foreground but now I might have to go a little bit down closer to the ocean and maybe get a little bit wet but we'll see so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop my bag then I'm gonna search around for a composition still have over a half hour before sunset so I have plenty of time yeah but I got this beautiful scene just all of myself here I love it. So I've got my camera all set up here. What I'm using for a composition is I have this rock in the right of the foreground. Then I've got the beach as kind of a leading line into that little uh, peninsula or something whatever you call it by the beach but yeah the lights just starting to get good there's no light in the foreground of my scene and barely any clouds but I think that's all right because I kind of like how uh, the mood gets in these sorts of images these sort of images the Sun's pretty much completely gone down as you can see behind me so I'm using a 10 stop filter it's just a Hoya screw-on filter so what the 10 stop filter is going to do is turn all this water just silky smooth so it'll just look almost like ghost water if that's what you want to call it but I'm just waiting a little bit more for the sun to go down and the sky to get illuminated because with no light in the scene just the light from the sky it'll become a little bit more balanced because right now the sky is a little bit too bright and the trees are a little bit too dark so when I wait a bit for the sky to really get a nice peaceful kind of purplish pinkish hue then I'll be able to do a long exposure and get the greens the colors out of the trees and the color on the sky all in one image so I'm at f11 I'm focusing on the rock in the foreground ISO 100 then I'm using the bulb for my shutter speed because I'm using the uh, cable release here Ooh, the water's coming pretty close 
but it's good because when the water goes around the rock, it'll give it more with a long exposure, have some nice flowing white lines. So right now I'm doing about a minute 10 exposures. It's starting to be, starting to get a little bit darker, so I might have to up it here pretty soon. Doesn't look too bad. Still a little unbalanced though. So one of the hardest things about using the circular screw-on ND filters is they're kind of a pain to take off. So, because each time you figure out the exposure, when you're supposed to figure out the exposure, you uh, expose for it without the filter on and then multiply that by a thousand for the 10 stop filter and that's how you get how long you should expose the image for for it to be a proper exposure. But with the screw on it's a pain to unscrew it and re-screw it each time. So I'm just kind of guessing. So I'm just kind of shooting an image. If it's underexposed or overexposed then I'll adjust the timer as necessary. So I just did a minute and 20 seconds and that was a little bit underexposed. So I'm going to try and push it to two minutes now. But sunset's even harder because as you do the long exposures for sunset, it keeps getting darker and darker, so you require a longer exposure. Yeah, the sky's looking pretty nice. No clouds, but that's alright because we still have the nice blue and pink tones in the sky. So hopefully I'll come away with something halfway decent. And another challenge about shooting with a tripod in the sand that when the water comes up and gets underneath the tripod, it can sink it, so causing a little bit of motion shake, which that's a problem I just had with my last image I took. Ooh, the sky's really looking nice now. I think it might be about at the peak so far. So I'm doing a two minute, 10 second exposure. Well, the GoPro might be uh, in trouble. I had it just sitting right up here, of course not thinking, then the tide came up and pushed it over into the water, which normally wouldn't be a problem because they're waterproof, but now I have the door off to put the external mic in, so it's not waterproof anymore. But I guess we'll see if this video, rec or if this audio records well, and if it keeps running. It seems to be working fine, but we'll see. Oop, I'm taking a picture. Doesn't look too bad. So now it's getting real dark, but there's still some color in the sky, so I'm gonna do a three minute, 10 second exposure, and then I'll probably call it quits for today. Ooh. Hopefully that didn't mess up my long exposure right there. Yeah, after this image, I'll pack up. I think that was pretty successful. The GoPro seems to be working fine. I'll just get it back, get it all aired out, and hopefully it keeps going. And then that sums it up for today. I think it was a pretty successful shoot. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the images came out, so it's pretty good got a pretty nice one. GoPro's working fine, so it's all good. Until next time.